What's up everybody? We are here today in Elder Scrolls and I just wanted to do an update on the new crates that have come out in the Crown Store in case anyone was wondering what you kind of get from them. So I'm going to start off with a test run. I'm just going to buy four crates because I've only got 1500 crowns left because it's super addictive and I'm just going to go ahead, open those up for you guys and then show you what I got with my other crates that I opened earlier. So I opened in total so far 30 crates because I got two lots of 15 and I think I did my math right, so I think we're okay. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's go ahead and purchase some of these. And we will go to the ESO Plus Crown Store here, which is apparently the shortcut for computers, the comma, comma key. So, here we go, it's Storm Atronite Crate. So it looks like they might bring up different versions of this in like, for example, the Mage. I don't know, Mage Crates or something, God knows. So... <laughs> Uh, it looks like they're going to bring out different types of crates in the future with give, that give different rewards. So we'll start with buying these here. So we've got four crown crates. Cost 1500. I've got 1900. Okay, confirm. And we're going to open. And then you've got this cool dude here. So he's going to open our crates for us. And they look cool like this. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead gonna try and open the thing and see what we get and first crate okay so you when you first get the deck out he kind of like he gives you four normally but then he gave us a bonus reward he said that if you didn't hear the middle card is orange I think so that's legendary and then I've got a purple card as well so we can either reveal them one at a time I think the suspense is better so we can kind of see what's going on so Crown Try Restoration Potion, that's fine, it's just a pot to restore all your magicka health and uh, stamina, not all of it, but you know, a good amount. Next one, Repair Kit, kind of not really that great. Legendary Frost Mare, alright, so we got one of those awesome frost horse things. Oh yes, guys, <laughs> another mount for me. Alright, so there's the ice horse mount, which is, um, I think someone told me it was like a limited edition mount thing that you could get for a while there, back in the day. And we've got a riding lesson for speed. And we've got another costume, which I've already got. So when you, <laughs> when you've already got a costume or a mount or anything, if you duplicate what you've already got and collected, it will turn them into gems for you automatically. And you can see in the bottom left corner, I've got five crown gems, which are just from that outfit there. And what you can actually do is, if you keep gathering them, you can buy the items that you can get from the crate in the shop as well. And they're all different costs, so the different uh, rarities cost more, and I'll show you that in a minute as well. So there we go. Let's open the next one. All right, we've got two blue cards this time. Uh, Spellcaster's Elixir, these are actually really cool. Another try restoration. Another costume that we've already got, so we got the crown gems from it instead. And that dog, again, that I already have. So we've only got the crowns, of the uh, gems from that one. So there we go, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so now we've got a purple and a blue one, and an extra card, which is cool. Refreshing drink. <laughs> an invisibility po potion, so that's really cool. You can have invisibility in any character, you don't have to be some weird stealthy one. Oh, upright antler skull cap! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for, everybody. Alright, so you've got a hat there, uh, that looks really cool. Ooh, I've accidentally revealed both, but that's okay got lethal poison and we've got another outfit so you can see it kind of gets repetitive with the more common stuff which is fine because we can buy we can use them to buy other stuff that we didn't collect yet okay purple and blue this time oh i swear i already had that one then this is a heavy armor one right so i have the medium armor the cloth armor and now the heavy soul shriven outfit so that's really cool Major experience scroll. I mean, meh, it's all right, but I probably would trade it for the gems and get something else that I wanted, like a different mount. Survivor's elixir and fortifying meal. 
Alright, so what I'm getting from this, for the most part, is that you will probably collect- oh, If you get a decent amount of crates, you'll probably collect them quite fast. Like, all the items from the crates that drop and things, so... We've got all our items now here, and there's a cool trick as well. So if we go right next to the crown store, there's now crown crates tab thing. And we can actually go to gem extraction. So now, this refreshing drink, I don't really care. Alright, stop talking. Stop talking, Khajiit. Okay, there we go. Crown crate refreshing drink. I don't want that. I'm going to trade it for my one gem back. So let's extract that. Invisi invisibility potions. Well, those are fine. I don't really mind those. I'll keep it for now. This spellcaster one is really cool because you get magical recovery and you get increased spell damage by 20% and crit increase for 15 seconds. So, And it increases when you get higher levels as well. So the t duration will increase. Survivor's elixir. Restore health immediately, which is really good. I'm not really keen on that, but you know, 25 lethal po poisons. One gem exchange for that, so nothing huge there. Repair kit, I really just don't have any use for, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Fortifying meal, I mean, they're useful, but for me right now, I'd rather have the other stuff. Restoration potions, these are really good as well. But again, I'm not that, like, bothered right now. I think I'll just have all of the all of the gems back, so I'm gonna extract those. Producing two gems. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm probably not gonna be able to buy anything with this. This scroll, I don't want. Like, I just don't want it, so I'm gonna extract that one. So I'm done for now. I'll leave these just in case I want them. Oh, wait, this this riding lesson is a waste. It's only one, so don't get excited, because you know when you buy the riding lessons from the shop, you get 10 increases, and you only get one with this, so you it's not a very good use of money, to be honest, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And these are not cheap, guys, so for perspective, if you probably look at the shop online to see to buy these crowns here, this pack costs over £20, so that's quite a lot of money to spend, and you only get 15 crates, and it's not, yeah, most of it, it's not going to be very good. But considering the stuff I've already gotten, I'm quite happy with what I've gotten. So let me just show you the section here with the gems that you can buy stuff in. So you just go to Crown Crates tab. Now you can see all the different qualities in this tab. And there's the common rewards, so that's all the really rubbish stuff, all the stupid potions. Fine rewards, so experience, scrolls, riding, speed upgrades, gem, and repair kit. Don't really want those either. Superior so starts switching to outfits, so you get this cool wizard hat thing which I got last time, so that's really good. I got this weird circlet thing here. Got battle mage armor that's been discontinued, I'm pretty sure. And there's this other battle mage armor that I didn't get. It's a different color, so you only get one at a time compared to where you got all three before. This Daedrix camp I got, which I don't really want. And this evening dress is pretty awesome, so that's cool, I got one of them. Got this lizard here. I got this dog, obviously, you saw me getting it a couple times. Soul Shrivern, so this is the heavy armor version, leather armor, and the light armor version. And we've got Storm Atronach Aura, so that's some swirly memento thing, it doesn't really do that much. Buzz Cut is just a buzz cut, I mean, it's self-explanatory, I can't see it right now because of my helmet, but it's just a, you know, a standard buzz of your hair. And here are the epic rewards. Obviously you can look at these yourself, but I'm just going to show you kind of what I got. So I got this guar thing here. Uh, I've got this ball gown that I just got. I got this weird pig thing, so that was that was an interesting one. And more mementos for some reason. This cool eye drawing thing for my character. So one eye is blue and then it paints my lips pink for some reason. And then this is my probably my favourite reward so far that I'm going to have to be using from now on, to be honest, is the uh, antler skull cap. So that one's really awesome. You've got the weird deer horn things coming out. And legendary rewards. So you start upgrading into some of the better mounts here and the better pets. This is a black mane lion. Pretty cool. He looks like off the Lion King. Uh, you've got a husky. You've got the cloud leprosenche coming back. And it's 
little baby thing. We just got this frost mare, so that's really awesome. That was pretty cool. So these are going to be the yellow cards that drop. And let's see what else. I've got this mind shriven thing. It's shriven. But yeah, you look kind of look like a like a plum, like a prune, like a dried out prune. Okay. And then we've got this mount I actually bought with the crown gems that I collected because I had 200 extra from my openings of crates. So I got a lot of duplicate items and I had 200 gems that I could exchange and I got this and I got this. So then we can have a little family of wolves running around, which was pretty awesome. So uh, we got the, the rosy netch calf and that's, that's another pet I got and I didn't know why that's a legendary pet, but it is. And then this, this frog thing is really cool, but I didn't get that one. Now the thing I did get that was really amazing, I did get an apex reward and it was this bear mount. So this bear is pretty amazing to be honest. <laughs> like, look at him, swirling around, getting held together by some air lightning stuff. And obviously you've got all the other kinds. I would think camel would be the most unfortunate reward from the apex section, but you know how that goes. Guar looks pretty decent for what it is, but I would say it's second most unfortunate. <laughs> the horse looks like some kind of skeletal horse almost, like its face is half missing, which is cool. And yeah, there we go. The cat version looks pretty fierce, I would say. Check out that face, guys. And then we've got the wolf version that kind of looks like a pig from the front, but maybe, maybe it looks better from behind. Yeah, that looks better. So there we go. Now you can kind of see what you can get from these crates. Obviously, there's the whole section of the store which you can preview all this stuff. And I've got my mount selector, I've got my soul shriven, shriven outfit on that I dyed white. So it's a little bit lighter. This bear is pretty awesome, like I can't, can't really believe that I actually got him. <laughs> to be honest. It's quite shocking, so there we go. Let's take our bear out for a spin, shall we? Oh, he's a bit, he's a bit grumpy. Okay. Oh my god, no way! He gets electrocuted! What? What? That's crazy! Oh my god, what is that? Alright, so if you stand still with your bear and hit spacebar, that's pretty awesome. Well, yeah, that that's just on a different level. Okay, so that makes me even happier that I got this mount. That's amazing. Oh my god. That's so cool. And then, unfortunately, I had an epic card and they ended up with this thing. It's just like... I don't even think that's in the store. I don't even know how I got that. Oops. Like, what? What is this? It was a legendary one, I'm pretty sure. And I got this stupid guar out of it. I can't see it. No, it was an epic one, sorry. Purple's epic. Yeah, there you go. He's in there. He's in there, unfortunately. So that's a... I'm, I'm sorry if you got that one like I did. It was kind of disappointing because it was the only mount that I got in my first 15 boxes. And I was really excited, but it didn't happen. So here's the ice horse, which is... That's pretty amazing as well. Oh god. The, ooh, he's melted. <laughs> there are just so many cool ones now. Alright, so he doesn't do anything crazy, but he does freeze the ground as you walk around. You can see his hoof prints of ice. Which is really awesome. So, I'm... And he leaves a trail of, like, cold... Cold air behind. Oh no, it's raining again. It was sunny. Oh well. We'll just have to deal with it. And, yeah, so I showed you that one. And then the red wolf is the one I wanted ultimately, but I ended up buying it with my gems because I didn't get it from the crates, which is fine because we all win at the end. And there she is. She's beautiful. And let me get my, um, my non-combat wolf out as well so we can have our little family with the little mum and the wolf baby thing following us around. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. I love this wolf. It just looks so friendly and like loyal. I don't know. It just has that glow in its eyes. Okay. So there we go. We've got our little family going. That was probably my favorite purchase so far. And if you wanted to see some of these, there's the little netch thing. It's about that big. And what else do we have? I should really f figure out the shortcut. Like you. Okay. I'll start doing that. We've got little purple pig here. Uh, interesting pig. I'm not sure really what this is, but 
we've got it. All right, and then we've got Daedric Scamp, which wherever he's gone, not really a, not really that attractive. And we've got the lizard. Where has he gone? There he is. He's so small. Okay, he's a small guy. And then we've obviously got this dog. There she is. It's a black lab, I think, that they removed from this shop. Now it's back in the, in these crate things you can open. So there we go. That covers our mounts and pets that we got from there. Uh, Memento, if you are interested in what these are. This is the storm juggler. So, not quite sure what to say that is, but I guess we're juggling stormy rocks, that makes sense. And then we've also got Storm Atronarch Aura. There we go, so we're, we're windy and electrocuting things, like our mount, our bear mount. <laughs> and that's all that is, and need to learn a shortcut still. Get my little pet out. Oh, maybe for this one I'll use the pig. Who knows? Yeah, let's go with that. All right, and then obviously I've got my my antlers here. They look they look cool. Got my wizard hat. I dyed that one. Sorry, it's not original, but it is brown, like in the picture. Uh, the buzz cut. I can't show. You. Oh, I got this feathered headdress actually used because I don't have an Argonian, unfortunately. Uh, the obic eye or whatever that is. There we go. Doesn't look that great on my character right now. Uh, I already have that, this thing, but maybe it'll help if I remove my hat. Yep, so we've got this weird jemmy thing going on in my face. And um, taking that off costume, so like I said, got battle mage. There you go, it's already been in the shop and stuff, so this is not new stuff. This dress as well, I dyed that, I'm probably going to change it. And we've got this dress, this one's pretty cool. And then we've got, what else? What else have we got? Right, so this heavy armor we just got of the sh soul shriver, shriven, shriven. I can't say that word. Okay, leather version and cloth version that I dyed a bit, so it's not the right color. If you're wondering why it's such a weird color, and again, enveloping scales, Argonian can't use, so sorry about that. Here's the weird thing that I got that looks a bit mummified <laughs> which it is cool but I don't know I don't know if I can deal with the uh, dried out looking part of it so there we go we've gone over what I got I had to buy like I said 30 crates to get that apex mount and I'll finish off with that one I suppose let's get him back the frost one's pretty cool though this is gonna be hard to decide but that electrocution there is <laughs> that beats everything pretty much all right so it took me 30 crates to get this plus a fair amount of different outfits and things i was a little bit unlucky with duplicating stuff so but at the end it was lucky because i got my wolf mount that i wanted anyway so not the end of the world there and then i got the extra four to show you guys in which point i got that legendary frost mane thing so you do get quite a lot of stuff in it it is expensive so and it's all cosmetic except for the pots and things so if you really want to get pots and stuff i guess it might be worth doing i'm just not sure how much do they cost in here right so if you wanted to get the pots you'd probably be better off just getting them from here but if you want a chance at the mount i suppose it is worth getting if you've got some spare points but like i said they are expensive so this is not going to be for everyone I can see people getting everything pretty quickly though from these boxes because if even if you get the same stuff you can just get rid of the items, get the gems and then buy what you wanted anyway, especially in the apex thing, the apex section. So these will get used up pretty fast. Everyone that is doing it will probably get, like heavily anyway, will probably get everything pretty quickly so they'll probably bring out new stuff um, maybe every month even, who knows. But yeah, basically that's a... Uh, good demo for you guys so if you're interested in buying the crates to know what to expect thanks a lot for watching this video i hope it was useful to you please like if you if it was useful and subscribe for more i'm happy to make more things like this just let me know or i'll yeah i'll bring it out when i feel like if i notice something that could be useful to someone thanks a lot for watching guys stay tuned for more and we'll see you again next time follow me on twitter all that good stuff 
take care of yourselves and have an awesome day.